Some of you asked for a video on how I feed my slings. To be more precise, how I feed tiny tiny slings. So I'll show you. When it comes to feeding tiny slings, I use two types of feeders. My first and main type of feeder for, for all tarantulas are lateralis cockroaches or famously known as red runners. These are females and these are tiny tiny baby slings. I mean, I mean baby cockroaches. The majority of tarantulas will easily take down a cockroach of that size. The reason why I prefer the lateralis cockroaches is because they grow decently quick. I mean they breed pretty quickly, much faster than dubias. And as you can see they start from really small size. Other reason is when you compare it with dubias, these guys move a lot. Meaning that they will attract tarantula's attention, unlike dubias who most likely will pretend to be dead until tarantula just leaves it alone. And dubias can also dig into the substrate. So it's a no-brainer to use lateralis cockroaches to feed slings and usually the whole collection I feed with lateralis cockroaches. If you saw my video about feeders that I use, you saw that I have two colonies. One is lateralis colony and the other one is dubia colony. I use dubias only when I'm low on lateralis, so basically when I'm forced to use them. And I also use them to feed my bigger tarantulas because dubias grow much larger than lateralis cockroaches. And also since I have poison dart frogs, I need to have a colony of flightless fruit flies. This colony is almost gone. I also sometimes use them to feed my slings, tiny slings. These are half of the size of the tiniest, of the tiniest baby cockroach. Also the main question regarding feeding is do I pre-kill the, the prey for tiny, tiny slings? And the answer is usually no because I have fruit flies and all of them will happily take a fruit fly and I don't have to kill it. But really if your tarantula refuses to take a live prey, just gently crush the cockroach between your fingers, not, don't completely squish it and just drop it inside. Tiny slings will sometimes scavenge a dead cockroach. So check the next day and see if the pre-killed cockroach was eaten. And basically that's it. There is nothing, nothing really to complicate. You can also use crickets to feed it and pinhead crickets also gets really small. They are smaller than cockroaches. So if you can get crickets, use those, it's easy. I don't prefer crickets because from what I read and from what I heard from other people, they smell much worse than cockroaches and they also produce sound. And I have a feeling that they are a bit more bit more complicated to keep. Regarding how I keep my cockroach colonies, here is the link in the corner so you can check a video on that subject. So now we will go through some of the recently acquired additions and we'll see which ones are hungry and if I can get the decent shots because small slings are tricky to record. All of the slings that I will feed in this video are gifts from my subscribers so click in the right corner to see the unboxing video on all of these additions. And we also try to feed that true spider that I catch, caught, that I caught, caught, whatever. I don't have labels on my enclosures, but underneath I have a number and every animal in my collection has its own unique number. And then I have a list in Excel with all the animals. I just look underneath, it says 68, and then I go to 68 and I see that that is Brachypelma emilia. So yes, this one I won't feed because as you can see it molted. <laughs> I can put it aside now. So let's start from the top, I guess. 73. Nandu color, uh, colorato villosus. Now be aware that majority of, of feeding I won't be able to record because cockroach will probably just go into the hole and get eaten there. As I said, it went into, into a hole. Oh. oh, nice. You saw a glimpse of it. Trixopelma pruriens. Also on my list, I keep track when it molted, if I manage to spot it. Damn, it got it. It is really small tarantula and it takes cockroach without big problems. It only has a small wrestling match. Let's continue. 72. 
Histerokrates Gigas. Got it. Nice. <laughs> Let's feed the the name the the Linotele. In my unboxing video, I said that this is a true spider, but some of you told me that that's wrong. This is not a true spider. My bad. Didn't know. You know that I'm just a average keeper, just like you. I don't know everything. That was fast, really fast. Can't wait for this one to grow and to get it in bigger enclosure to see how it will web it. 74, is that Parahibana? Yes, La Ciudora Parahibana. And you see how vicious eaters they are. They don't mess around. Ceratogirus Marshali. This wasn't a decent shot to bed. You could just see it disappears. This is the Iridopelma from Yerko, Hirsutum. All these instant kills. Look how fluffy it is. Awesome. Let's try to feed the king baboon. Oof. I still didn't put them on the list, so I can't. I can't. Telenobius. I can't remember the genus name. Let's see if it will take down a cockroach. No, don't go down there. No. Go up. Yes. Okay, it's coming. Or not. Sweet. That was good shot. I have another Hirsutum, but this one is on top. Not sure. I have a fresh cockroach. The white cockroaches are the one that's freshly molted. Sweet! A bit of tongue feeding action. 69. Oh, Brachypelma wagons. And from what I can see, it also molted, and it is on top of its burrow, so I guess, I guess it's been a while. Oh, yep, it's been a while. Let's feed the Terraphosa Stirmi. It likes to sit on top lid. I don't want it to bolt outside. Boom, without hesitation. Need to feed that beast a lot. 75, that, no, this is Salmopeus, Reduncus. I will just throw another one. And take that one out after. Now the first one is also out. Oh, I didn't saw it. There we go. Psalopeus reduncus fed. Oh, yes, and Tiropago species hati hati molted. 
hopefully it will get outside so we can see it. What do we have here? Oh, it's Alteria Regalis. These cockroaches. He's all careful. All of this. He, oh, oh, go, go. Nice. Too bad. Too bad it wasn't recorded. But there you have it. Pecelteria regalis sling. Ceratogirus darlingi. There it is. Yeah, now it's the perfect time to groom itself. Stupid roaches. Bingo. That was all my new additions, except the spider that I captured. Let's see if that that one is hungry. So one freshly molted. Ooh, got it. I'm glad that the spider is willing to eat. It will be super cool when I make a, a wall imitation. It should result in much, much better feeding clips. Well, I guess that that was all for today's video. As you can see, you can feed everything with lateralis cockroaches. Before I end this video, special shout out to Mikey from Leeds in UK. Hey Mikey, keep enjoying these videos. And as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so... See you again soon. Bye!